Being born into the world is a blessing and curse. You're born not knowing a single thing. And to learn these things, your parents choose an array of choices to teach you some life lessons. Like, life is really messed up when you think about it. First off, you're born into the world without your consent. Have to adjust to the world around you. And get punished for things you didn't even know were bad. Like, how was I supposed to know I can't stare at the disabled man, mom and dad? So I want to go through some childhood punishments, and I'll also be ranking them on certain factors. The belt. It's crazy how the belt is like the most universal child punishment around the world. Your parents could be from America, South America, Africa, Asia. They all unite against one evil by beating the sh out their kids with belts. For the belt, I feel like there's a certain age limit where a parent has to stop doing it though. Because you can only do it for so long until that kid has had enough and catches it to reverse it on you. Like I probably stopped getting the belt after seven years old. And with the belt, I'm kind of kerfuffled on it because I feel like it's needed and it's not needed at the same time. It all just depends on the scenario. Like if my kid decides to take a baseball bat and break my thousand dollar flat screen TV, you're damn right. I'm whooping that kid like it's before Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. And I feel like belt whoopings are needed now more than ever. Have y'all seen how much kids have been wilding online recently? I be seeing little kids posting videos of them vaping, assaulting strangers for some Tic Tac views. And this all stopped because parents want to what? Not emotionally scar their child with physical punishment. You'll get over it. But then you got parents growing up who would whip their kids for the littlest of things. You could tell some parents just try taking their frustration out on something. Like, you might as well get a punching bag because your kid's not supposed to be it. And then they'd be surprised when they end up in a nursing home acting like nothing ever happened. The belt either machoed you up and prepared you for the real world or <gasps> left you with psychological scarring bear deep in your heart that attaches to every friendship or relationship you'll ever stumble in the rest of your life, causing lifelong insecurities in yourself. Probably the second one for most people. Effectiveness, 8 out of 10. Psychological scarring, 100 out of 10. Yelling. Now, a lot of people consider getting yelled at as a kid is at least better than getting whooped. But I don't know how controversial this is. I feel like it's worse most times. As a kid, I barely remember the times I was whooped because it was so long ago. More than the times I was yelled at for doing something wrong. And the worst part is, you know you can't talk back. So you just gotta pace back and forth in your room. Thinking of all the shit you say, but you can't say because you know if you talk back, then you're getting the belt. And even when you did slightly talk talk back or try to at least tell them your point, they're gonna go, oh, oh, you talking back now? Like, yes, no! you're yelling at me. Was I supposed to just let it happen and not say my point? One thing I'm glad my parents never did, though, was yell at me in public. When I see a parent doing that, it'd be so embarrassing to me. Do you feel no shame? And that's what they do in public. If I see a parent doing that, I can tell that child is definitely getting abused. CPS will be called to that home shortly. The worst feeling, though, was getting yelled at for something you never did. That's when I really learned what a false accusation is. Then when they realize their mistake, you never got an apology and had to take it on the chin. Ooh, ooh that, that would have me heat. Effectiveness, 9 out of 10. Psychological scarring, 10 out of 10. The hand. Another universal tool that can replace the belt is the hand. And even better, it's free. Honestly, I'd prefer the hand over the belt because at least the stinging will go away faster. But I never really got hit with the hand as a kid. I feel like the hand is a gateway to child abuse because it takes one day where you cuff the hand and turn it into a fist and end up Mike Tysoning your child and ending up in prison. Effectiveness, 7 out of 10. Psychological scarring, 8 out of 10. Grounding. All right, we're lowering the intensity a little bit with something simple. Being grounded was a minus or a plus depending on what type of kid you were. Like, kids nowadays probably don't give a f if their parents tell them they're grounded because they can hop on their iPad and play Fortnite and Roblox while talking to their friends. But before the iPad generation, being grounded as a kid was basically being put in prison. You would get home from school and see kids in your neighborhood frolicking and having fun while you gotta just stare from your window, isolated alone. Your homies are all out on the basketball court or soccer field and you're just imagining how much fun you could be having. If you had siblings, they were probably outside too as well, so you were just stuck isolated alone. And imagine that feeling for weeks or months. Not fun. Effectiveness, 9 out of 10. Psychological scarring, 10 out of 10. Timeouts. Timeouts gotta be the weakest punishment of all time. Like, out of all things you're gonna do to me, all I gotta do is sit in that corner for 30 minutes? I'll gladly take it over any of the punishments before this. The only time timeouts were embarrassing is when you got them in school. Not only are you getting embarrassed in front of your homies, but also the host. What if my crush was there? And I guarantee they're gonna remember that moment up until graduation, so bye-bye to any chance you had. And now that I'm older and bolder and graduating, Graduated, I can finally say it. F you, Miss Harris. With your dirty ass lips, I make double what you make now. I'll put your ass in timeout. 
Oh, 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 okay, sorry. But my limit for timeouts would be like an hour. If you got timeouts for like six hours or something, then they might as well have thrown you into solitary confinement. Effectiveness, three out of 10. Psychological scarring, 3.5 out of 10. Soap in the mouth. I didn't even know this was legit a punishment parents did until one of my uh white friends told me that he never got whooped but got that. And once again, this is a walk in the park. I wish the worst punishment I got was some antibacterial dial soap on my mouth for 30 seconds. Plus, it'll make your breath smell better. If anything, they're helping you. Effectiveness, one out of 10. Psychological scarring, three out of 10. Taking away stuff. Honestly, out of everything on this list, I put this as number one. We grew up in such a technology driven world even back then. When I was younger, if me and my brother ever f***ed up our grades, the first thing swiped from us was our console. And it's not like we could say shit, we didn't pay for it. The whole gang would be on playing some type of game. Meanwhile, we couldn't. Even if we had our computers or phones, nothing was gonna be missing out on that party chat and game session. Luckily, I never even got my phone swiped because even then, my parents knew taking a phone from a child in the 21st century is very dangerous and is also like throwing them in solitary confinement only seeing the general population for an hour. Nowadays, if you take a phone from a kid though, you're basically taking their whole life away. Just look at the way those ankle-biting Gen Alpha kids act like when the iPad is swiped from them. They gain the strength of five prime Mike Tysons to get it back. Effectiveness, six out of 10. Psychological scarring, four out of 10. The chocla slash slipper. Another alternative to the belt and some would even say more comparable to it. Getting hit with any slipper was way more dangerous because it could pop out at any time. The device is portable and can be used in any time of anger. Like you could legit be running away and they throw that bitch with 100% accuracy. It's like they got trained by military snipers on how to be the most accurate. And if you're Hispanic, there's about a 99.9% .9 chance this was probably used more than the belt. Effectiveness, 7.5 out of 10. Psychological scarring, 8 out of 10. Spanking. Spanking is another one of those universal punishments that the whole world does. If you weren't getting the belt, you were getting spanked. If you weren't getting spanked, you were getting the belt. If your parents were really f***ed up, you got both. Maybe even everything combined before this. I feel like I didn't know a lot of kids that were spanked as their punishment, even though it's one of the most common punishments. I also feel you could recover from a spanking faster than getting hit with the belt. And it's always been weird to me how schools in America used to let teachers spank kids. As a matter of fact, it's not even illegal in all states. It's still allowed in 19 states. If I send my child to school and they come back telling me they got paddled, that teacher's getting paddled by me next. And trust me, I won't make it enjoyable. I'm thinking of all the times a teacher f***ed me over in class and imagining if they had the power to paddle me for that bullshit. And imagine if you got beef with one of the teachers and they paddle your child as revenge. What could you even do to stop them? And when Gen Z becomes teachers, you think I'm letting you put hands on my children? You're getting boomed on the spot. Effectiveness, 7 out of 10. Psychological scarring, 6 out of 10. Cutting off hair. I remember seeing videos of kids getting their hair cut off as punishment, and I always thought, no way this actually happens, right? Until someone in my school when I was younger got all his dreads cut off or getting suspended. And low key, uh, that worked. He was a pure peril of danger thug before that. And now he's about to graduate college, so. You had to have been a bad kid for this to be your punishment. And this punishment is one of those things where you're never living it down. Because you know for a fact, if you come in that school going from a full head of hair to the nugget cut the next day, everyone knew exactly what happened to your ass and was gonna clown you. And this is the type of where if you do it to your kid, don't expect them to speak to you after they turn 18. The school roast are never leaving their head. That's permanent PTSD. Effectiveness, 8.5 out of 10. Psychological scarring, 9.5 out of 10. Door taken off room. If you're a parent at the point where you have to do this to your child, I think you failed. In what purpose is taking the door off the room gonna teach them a lesson? I would never trust my parents for anything. You're straight up stripping my rights. And how the f would I even change? In the bathroom? Or is the door taken off that too? I don't know any kids that this happened to personally, but if you're watching this and it did, then I hope you're holding up. Effectiveness, 6 out of 10. Psychological scarring, 8 out of 10. Kicked out the house. If you got kicked out the house, then it had to have been for some absolute heinous sh you did. Like, this one is way too dangerous to risk. I don't even know how you could do this as a parent. If it's like for 30 minutes or an hour, I could hear it out. But if you're kicking your child out for days, then are you not worried they're gonna, uh get kidnapped or something, or you're gonna get charged with child neglect? And how old are we talking? Because I couldn't see you doing this to a kid below the age of 13. The world is way too dangerous to be doing this nowadays. There's no world where I'm ever doing this to my kid. Effectiveness, 6 out of 10. Psychological scarring, 8 out of 10. And last, studying. Come to think of it, this is more of a benefit than punishment. I kind of wish I got this a lot because when I finally started to realize that adults weren't these almighty beings that can manage themselves responsibly and everybody has no clue what they're doing, this knowledge could have helped me worlds ahead of people. The average person's reading comprehension due to massive 
compounding of attention span soul sucking content is now equivalent to an acorn. And don't get me started on math to tic tacs. I'm very much cooked on this too. I'm one of those people that needs a calculator to add single digits. I might just be spent. Effectiveness 7 out of 10. Psychological scarring 2 out of 10. So yeah, I'm gonna end it right there. Let me know the worst punishment that happened to y'all. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram and TikTok. As always, I love you guys consensually. And until next time, I'm out.